You're watching UHF TV 33, Detroit Highland Park. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Brenda. Good afternoon, Orthea. And Hello, welcome, all y'all out there. Welcome to Wellness for Women, Mind, Body, Spirit, and Financial Wellness. We are so mm. excited to bring this Very special excited. to you. Yes. And we'd like to thank R.J. Watkins and thank Mr. You, Henry, Henry Tyler, Tyler and all, all the staff here at WHPR. Mm -hmm. We can have a great show. Awesome. Today. Don't go away. Don't, don't. Don't touch the dial, as they can say. 
And make sure you give us a call here, 313-868-4336. You're going to want to know that number. And the numbers also are at the bottom of the screen. Am I right? Well, yeah, from time to time, from time to time. <laughs> we don't have to have them running the whole okay, time. Okay, good. Because the people good. who watch TV 33 know, know the, the number. All right. But, you know, we'll put them up and we'll keep on repeating them. Mm-hmm. Also, you can watch us on your app, on your on your app. On your cell phone. Right. On your smartphone, your TV 33 app. We'll be right there, mm-hmm. and we are coming back. We have a fitness expert, we have our financial experts, and we have a medical expert and a spirit expert. Amen. Yes. I just keep getting chills for this. This is awesome. This is awesome. <laughs> I'm so excited to be with you. Oh, I it's am. It's honor. about time. We've been talking about this for so long. Yes, yes. And... We'll be right back in just a moment with Nasette Gray, our fitness expert for today. are back i'm excited about this part i know some people aren't excited about exercising well but i want to know you want to know i want to know and we have nisette gray you can tell those arms i'm gonna hide my arms <laughs> hello <laughs> and somebody been pumping right <laughs> <laughs> Nisette is a fitness expert. In fact, I've been working with her. Of course, mm-hmm. I look nothing like her. <laughs> oh. But you're looking good. Oh, you are. Thank you. Oh. So you're doing a great job yeah, with her. Yeah, we thank got you. the memo. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, and um, Nisette, how long have you been doing fitness? I've been in the fitness industry for about 15 years or so. And, and you're only I've 16 um, years old. That's right. right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I've really enjoyed it. I have done all the way from um, training to competing in uh, the c- competing here in Michigan as well as in Wisconsin and some other states such as New York. And um, I've been able to uh, take some nice first places in uh, bodybuilding and Alrighty. figure. Very excited about that, but even more excited about empowering other women with the ability to um, do well on their fitness journey. So I'm excited about that too. Now, originally, you're from where? Um, originally, I am from uh, Michigan, actually born in Highland Park, but I oh, spent wow. eight okay. years. I spent eight years in Puerto Rico, and I went to high school there. So um, I learned quite a bit as far you as track spend any, and fitness anytime, there. Anywhere that's a good word. Yes, to, place to do it. I love Puerto I Rico. I know you miss it on days like this. I do. <laughs> I know because it's a little chill. I wanted to ask you, 
since we're on into the holiday season, yes. what is this something that we can do or should do or know to do be, within this season that we're coming up with Thanksgiving and Christmas? So that's a great question. Mm -hmm. um, in the holidays, one thing that we really need to do is to really plan our meals and plan how we're going to celebrate with other people. Mm -hmm. um, in the holiday season, you're not quite as in control of everything right, you're going to be all eating the parties. right going to all the parties all the different foods they have mm -hmm. um, you still want to try and concentrate on eating as clean as possible there are vegetables there I you know I know that that's when you probably say not clean primary. what do you mean clean is um, trying to eat food in its whole state and as originally as it was born so the food uh, such as a carrot you know you want to eat that carrot as a raw carrot if possible mm -hmm. um, instead of eating it with uh, a lot of sauces on it or any other flavorings which those mm -hmm. add calories those are the hidden calories <laughs> so I love dressing I'm just gonna I don't call it stuffing. No, I call it dressing. You're talking about real dress, like cornbread dressing. It's cornbread. That's okay. the only way. Are you, can I have at least a little bit in the palm of my hand? You can. You can. You Actually, during the holidays, one thing that I really um, talk to people about is, again, planning your week. So you know you're going to probably be at a certain person's house or a party, some sort of uh, entertainment that might go on that week. So what you really want to do is think about that and think about how you're eating during the week before mm -hmm. you get to that point. Okay. So you can treat yourself to a small portion control. of dressing. Yes. Control, control, control. Yes, <laughs> and and even though you are, even though I am saying let's you know have let's treat ourselves, let's not probably overindulge. Right, you know. Anything in moderation. That's correct. It. Anything in moderation. Mm -hmm. We correct. can't go overboard. Right. Correct. And we know how it is to get overboard. A lot of times, though, when I get a little bit of taste of some good dressing, then I want some more. And then I want some more. <laughs> then you go to bed at <laughs> night and you're laying in that bed and you're thinking about that dressing. Well, I've come to that <laughs> age where I cannot lay down on heavy food at night right. anymore. Right. It's like it's all up in my neck or in my chest. So something you might want to think about when you feel like you're ready to overindulge is you want to try to um, think about having a glass of water with you. And so mm. you're drinking water, having your treat, drinking water. It'll probably help you stay away from having to have a portion that's too large or something. And what about wine, doing. having a drink? The drinks, because um, they put on calories, I know. They do. They do put on calories, and you definitely want to try to, again, you know, judge well with portion control and try to really be succinct about how much you're drinking be aware of how much you're eating and again if you feel like you're going to overindulge or it's going to be a long evening you may want to think about just having a, a, a cup of water a bottle of water with you that just kind of runs around with you the whole time mm -hmm. and that'll help you stave off some of that you know um, sort of uh, uh, tantalizing that's um, a good tip Yes. <laughs> and we can't forget to exercise over the holidays. We still should exercise. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. You should still exercise, still take time to exercise. We have 24 hours in a day. So taking 30 minutes out of that 24 hours is really kind 30 of 30 minutes small, is always good, huh? 30 minutes is always good. If you don't you can have do, to do an hour or two. You, you know, it, any additional mm. time that you put into um, exercising is always great. Mm -hmm. There's there's never, you know, so that's always great. But the real thing is to always do something consistently. Well, Nisette. You know, I, I love this uh, poem that she read to me earlier. Well, we're baby boomers. Yeah, and, and, and now we're into that part where we talk about, girl, I'm gonna, making out our resolutions. I'm going to take out this weight. Yeah. I'm going to exercise. I'm going to do well, this. I'm going to do that. What you say? In my new book, I wrote something like about exercising and being a baby boomer okay <laughs> i guess you're right about that sister yeah yeah i'm gonna get in shape just as soon as it gets warmer <laughs> oh how'd you say you lost that weight again mm -hmm. you ate what right you didn't eat what hmm that's not too bad you walked how far <laughs> i don't know about that sister mm -hmm. huh now, don't shake your head. Don't doubt me because I really want to get in shape. Really, I do. With me getting younger. Mm -hmm. Can't you tell by my new car? I need, <laughs> I need a new body to go with my new image. But the right. idea of exercise wears me out, makes me sneeze. Please, sister, please give me another way out of this era of midriff bulge and sagging <laughs> hips and breasts. 
Yes. Can I buy my way out of this baby boomer mess? Mm -hmm. Well, if diet and exercise is my only escape, I'll try. But to tell you the truth, mm -hmm. I don't know about that system. <laughs> I know, and that fits Net a lot of us. That a fits of a us. lot of us. Yes. Or if yes. it doesn't fit you, now you've been there, done that. Yes, and I that that's when I've done that. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to do something else. Now, Naset, you're going to show yes. us a few things, yes. a few exercises over there. So right. we're going to go to a break, and I'll come over there with you, and, and we'll see what you're going to show our audience. These are things. Tell them where you, they could do these, these exercises. The, the, the type of exercises I'm going to show you, you can actually do them at home. doesn't take any equipment okay. or very little equipment. So you can do it right in your living room. You don't have to have any special spacing or anything like that. So it would be really exciting. In fact, I hope that you will all stand up and join me so you can kind of get the idea of these exercises and maybe even write them down or, you know, tape this show so that you're able to actually play back the exercises and try them out at home. Mm -hmm. Michigan is really funny with the weather, and so whether you have a gym membership or not, it's great to be nice and warm in your house and being able to still stay in shape. And you're comfortable still. But, Nassette, if someone wants to get in touch with you, how would they do that? You can um, check me out at my website, allforfitness.com. All for fitness that's the number the four. number four fitness.com or you can call at 248-890-0018 again Say that number again again that's 248-890-0018 mm -hmm. love to hear from you we're looking i'm excited about these exercises are you doing any exercise in a chair for senior citizens. Yes, I'm doing. I'm doing exercises <laughs> that will be for everybody, every fitness level, every age <laughs> level. <laughs> Me too. Okay. All right, we'll be back in just a moment. So don't hold go away. On. Don't leave that chair. UHF TV 33, Detroit Highland Park. Livingston Family Dentistry knows the value of a healthy, beautiful smile. With over 30 years of experience, Dr. Ronald and Dr. Blake Livingston and their friendly staff are committed to making you feel comfortable, informed, and satisfied. So whether it's routine dentistry, cosmetic improvement, or complete restoration, bring your smile back to life at Livingston Family Dentistry, located at 13724 Woodward in Highland Park. Call now, 313-883-883. 3050. If your teeth are not becoming to you, then you should be coming to us. The Extravaganza Vendor Expo, Saturday, November the 23rd at 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Just in time for the holidays. Vendors, you don't want to miss this opportunity to sell or market your business at the luxurious Doubletree by Hilton Hotel. Guest speakers on health and wealth, Dr. Kifa and Mr. Mickey. Vendors, for more information, call 1-800-815-0680. This event is sponsored by Financial Controllers. King Pharmacy, 12871 East Jefferson, located inside the Park Medical Center. King Pharmacy has professional services, senior discounts, prescription counseling. King Pharmacy is here to serve all your prescription needs. For more information, call 313-331-8484. That's 313-331-8484. King Pharmacy, 12871 East Jefferson, located inside the Park Medical Center. Henry Tyler says I'm hot, so I must be hot. Hey. Now, now, now we have Nisette Gray, our fitness expert here, and she's going to show us some exercises. I'm not going to do them with her because I don't want to show her up. So, uh, therefore, you. I'm going to have, yeah, I know. Okay, <laughs> Nisette, what are you going to show us first? Okay, the first thing we're going to work on is abs. I know everybody's really interested in that 
that aspect of uh, working out. So you mean Michelle Obama arms? Yeah. <laughs> oh, abs. Oh, stomach too. Yeah, stomach. Okay, so we're going to work on our stomach first. So the first thing we're going to do, two stomach exercises we can do. The first one is a standing one, and the next one will be a sitting one. Okay, so the first standing exercise, what we'll do is um, we're going to just have our hands on our hips, okay? And again, you can do all these exercises in a, um, a low impact or a high impact way. So as much as you can do or as much as you can do or if you can do more, then please proceed. So let me just show you. And again, don't worry about how high your leg's lifting or anything like that. We all start from some point. So we're going to start with our um, we're going to start with our hands up in the air, and um, uh, one thing you want to do before you even start any exercise, excuse me, is to actually warm up. And let me let me show you a little bit about warming up. Real easy. You don't have to have a fancy elliptical treadmill or anything like that. You can just simply just move your legs. So you can just tap your hands to your knees, and you can do this. To a song you can do this while a commercial is going if you don't have a timer or something like that and so by the time that commercial is over you should have your heart rate pretty much at a nice pump and you'll be warmed up and you'll be ready for your exercise and it's best to warm up because you don't want to injure yourself while exercising so at this point we're going to move on to doing our first exercise and again that's going to be for abs and what we're going to do is raise our hands way up in the air here. And then what we're going to do is bring our legs forward, up, and back down without touching the floor, up, and back down without touching the floor, up, and back down without touching the floor. And the other leg also, up, and back down without touching the floor, up, and back down without touching the floor, up, and back down without touching the floor. So I hope everybody was able to try that out. You want to do 10 repetitions on each leg, and you want to try to do it two or three times. Oh, that sounds good. That's not too bad. Now, what if you can't lift your leg quite as high? So even if you can't lift your leg quite as high, it's still effective to lift your leg at all. And the, the way that you're going to start is you're going to try to get your center of gravity. Your center of gravity you would get by just taking your toe and putting it right on the floor and then just lifting it ever so slightly. Then you're going to start to, your body will start to try to still stand up straight. And that'll engage your abs. And then you can begin to move your leg. So then you would move your leg. And you can just move it very slightly. And then eventually you'll get to a little bit higher level. So I have something for those of you who need to sit in a chair. So here we go. Our exercise for sitting in a chair, what you want to do is, and especially if you don't have a sturdy chair, you don't have someone around um, actually uh, watching you, you want to make sure your chair is against something that's very, um, that's very sturdy, such as a wall. Okay? So you're going to take your hands and bring your hands underneath your thighs. When bringing your hands underneath your thighs, you're going to really grasp onto the seat of the chair. And then you're going to start by just taking up one leg at a time and bringing it down, one leg at a time and bringing it down. If that is very simple for you, then you want to try bringing up both of your legs at one time and then bringing them down. Both of your legs up at one time and bringing them down. Okay? How many times should we so do that? You want to try and do that. Start working with about five times, then go to 10, then go to 15. And just whatever your number is, try and make your number 5% higher, a little bit higher each and every time that you're doing that. Again, bring your legs up and bring them down. Bring them up and bring them down. And again, please make sure that you have your chair against something that won't let it slip and slide. So against the wall or against another chair, or against the table, something like that. So that's good for what? That's good for your abs. That's good for your abs. You'll feel it in your quadriceps, which is the uh, front of your legs also, because if you haven't done this before, it is really demanding your uh, legs to actually work very hard. And as we know, about 60% of our weight is from the waist down. So any movement from the waist down is always going to burn a lot more calories. Great. Okay. 
So we're going to do, uh, right now we're going to work on our um, arms real quick too. Um, what you want to do is, even if you don't have dumbbells, these are dumbbells, if you don't have any dumbbells at home, what you can do is use any form of uh, uh, like a can or something that has a little bit of weight to it. Um, you can use anything like that. And what you want to do with uh, bicep curls, which I see a lot of people with bicep curls, they try to hug their arms to their body. What you want to do is separate it from your body a little bit because you want the biceps to work. You don't necessarily want, you know, the biceps to be aided by your body. So you're going to take the um, bicep, the dumbbells from a position of vertical to a position of horizontal. And then you're going to bring them back down to vertical and back to horizontal. And if you notice, I'm framing my face and I'm bringing the, sh the uh, dumbbells up to shoulder level. So that's what you want to do each and every time. And that way, you're working your biceps. And again, the same thing that I've said before is you want to use as many reps, do as many reps as you can. And then your goal is to do 10%, 5% more in the future. Well, that really helped me. It really helped me. Now, show us one more, and we have to break. So our next exercise we're going to do, um, what we're going to do is, is actually do one for uh, legs, okay? So there's uh, a couple things you can do here. The um, leg exercise I'm going to show you now is kind of a leg and a balance exercise. And what you're going to do, again, find your center, center of gravity, and you're going to bring your leg up, and you're going to bring the ball here through the leg, and that's all you're going to do. Wow, Nisette. Everybody, remember what Nisette said because you see this body on her. So she didn't get that by dreaming it. She worked at it. So we have to work at it. And we have to keep our health. And it keeps our, our blood sugar down. It Everything, doesn't it? Right. It keeps the, your insulin levels down. Um, it keeps you... Uh, from being the uh, top candidates for osteoporosis and for diabetes. Um, what I love about it as well is that you, you learn to get your balance. You do. You know, a lot you of times do. when you get a certain age, your balance gets a little absolutely. off. Absolutely, absolutely. And doing so it that way, you can practice them when you start walking somewhere, you don't have to worry about absolutely. balancing. Yep, a lot of self-confidence with exercise, too. Well, Nisette, thank you. Soror, thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much for giving us those tips. And ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back in just a minute with Gail Perry Mason and Kathleen Cullen. Thank you. You're watching UHF TV 33, Detroit Highland Park. Livingston Family Dentistry knows that good dental care ensures overall wellness, and healthy teeth and gums can perfect your smile. With over 30 years of experience, Dr. Ronald and Dr. Blake Livingston take the time to explain every treatment. Their modern office and friendly staff are committed to making you feel comfortable, informed, and satisfied. Located at 13724 Woodward in Highland Park, call now. 313-883-3050. If your teeth are not becoming to you, then you should be coming to us. The Extravaganza Vendor Expo, Saturday, November the 23rd at 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Just in time for the holidays. Vendors, you don't want to miss this opportunity to sell or market your business at the luxurious Doubletree by Hilton Hotel. Guest speakers on health and wealth, Dr. Keepa and Mr. Mickey. Vendors, for more information, call 1-800-815-0680. This event is sponsored by Financial Controllers. King Pharmacy, 12871 East Jefferson, located inside the Park Medical Center. King Pharmacy has professional services, senior discounts, prescription counseling. King Pharmacy is here to serve all your prescription needs. For more information, call 313-331-8484. That's 313-331-8484. King Pharmacy, 12871 East Jefferson, located inside the Park Medical Center. Livingston Family Dentistry knows the value of a healthy, beautiful smile. With over 30 years of experience, Dr. Ronald and Dr. Blake Livingston and their friendly staff 
are committed to making you feel comfortable, informed, and satisfied. So whether it's routine dentistry, cosmetic improvement, or complete restoration, bring your smile back to life at Livingston Family Dentistry, located at 13724 Woodward in Highland Park. Call now, 313-883-3050. If your teeth are not becoming to you, then you should be coming to us. We are back and we're talking about wellness for women today. Now, wellness comes in all kinds of packages from the body, which you just seen earlier, as well as financial. We want to make sure we got our, our money together. Now, I'm excited to have with me a young lady that's been a friend for a long time and one of the financial experts of the world, somebody. Uh, Gail Perry Mason and her partner is with her today, Kathleen Colon. Yes. I did I say that name right? Kathleen Colon. Yes, she did. You okay. Did. <laughs> and I'm so excited that you guys are here. Now, we talked about with Nazette about the holidays, and we are into the holidays. And I want to know, is there something special we need to do that will help us financially? Well, you know what? Just what Chrisette said when she was here, talking about, you know, more, I guess it's more about Come discipline. And really being disciplined with your body, you have to be disciplined with your budget, too. Okay. So we need a lean body and we need a lean budget. Mm -hmm. So that's what we need to do. It goes hand in hand. So I just think when it comes to the holidays, when she said don't eat too much, you know, everything in moderation is same thing with spending. Leave those plastics at home. Leave those. We need plastic <laughs> surgery. We need to cut those cards up. Cut them up. And we need to cut them up or freeze them or do something. We need plastic She didn't surgery. say leave them at home. Yeah, I didn't even say leave them at home. <laughs> we need to cut them up. We do not need to use any store cards. And I'm sure, you know, Kathleen will also agree with me. But I mm. also think we need to buy gift cards for people. We need okay. to make baskets. We need to give our services. If you know how to do, like Corsette, for example, mm. she does, you know, maybe she could, you know, do, you know, personal training for someone. Or we could for an get hour. her, I could get her to go to somebody as a gift. As a gift. We can get her okay. as a gift. This is what we need to do. We need to keep our dollar in the community, number one. Mm -hmm. And if we need to buy a gift card, we need to go to giftcards.com okay. or uh, plasticjungle.com. Now, what's the difference in going to giftcards.com rather than going to the store and getting the gift card? You get a discount on them. Oh, wow. You Did get a I discount know that? on them. Okay. That's what we need to do. So mm -hmm. save a dollar here and a dollar there. But listen, the number one, you know, while you're buying your gifts and you're out and you're festive about it all, Make sure that you put you at the top of your gift as well. Don't forget during this time of mm. gift giving to keep saving. That's a good and thought. And also, if you if you kind of many as times as, we don't think about that. No, we, we just don't buy 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 for everybody. Right. Still still be in, involved with your four hundred one ks if you're working. Mm -hmm. uh, it's coming towards the end of the year, towards tax time. Make your plans for your IRAs. You know, still put you at the top of the list because at the end it'll benefit you the most. So One make thing some challenging. Gift yourself. In the hour of sh shopping for Christmas and holidays, with a lot of people is not having the funding to do what they need to do. So it actually goes back to what you were saying in terms of giving of yourself, uh, making up your own baskets, something that you can do that somebody would love. I'd love for somebody to, to bring me on for my birthday when you guys came for the party. Someone gave me a big basket full of towels, all kind of toiletries were in there. And that's all she did was went to the dollar gift. store. But that's a great gift. Also, mm -hmm. a gift of a letter and get it framed. Oh, those wow. are the best okay. gifts in the entire world mm -hmm. is when people give you a letter. When people give from the heart, mm -hmm. it's better than giving from the purse or the wallet. Okay. So I think those are the best gift. All the heartfelt gifts are priceless, but they're cheaper mm -hmm. on our pocketbook. Okay. So I think, and also, and if you need to buy stuff, it's a great website called Ebates. E B A T E S dot com, mm -hmm. which will give you money back. So register for that. So register for different sites too. Okay. And start and write everything down. You need a plan. Just like you write down all your calories when it comes to eating, write down all your spending. You know, write it down and have a list. You'd be just like Santa Claus. Have a list when you go shopping. And as we say, you need, as you're talking about having a plan, with the new year coming in, we always want to have a plan. So we know that's what you do as a business. How do we get in touch with you? 
Well, yes. Matter of fact, you know, we're planning on putting a seminar. Uh, okay. You know, we're both with Oppenheimer now. Kathleen mm-hmm. Colin just came in from New York. Yes. And okay. she's been came with back Oppen- home. Yeah, came back home. <laughs> That's good. So she came back home. And now, you know, so now it's the only firm that has two African-American females. Oh, my. Basically, yeah, in the state of Michigan okay. and in, basically in it the might country. Be the country. Yeah. And probably mm-hmm. in the country. So now that we're working together, we want to help Detroit save money. And so help you're going to do a seminar save. when? December tenth. December tenth. Yes, we're definitely right around be, the corner. Yeah, probably, yes. and 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 make sure that it benefits Detroit. We're going to be theming around pure Detroit, all that is good about mm, Detroit. Oh, good. But more than anything, giving back to our, you know, to our community. Community. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And if so they want to register right, for the seminar say. or mm-hmm. get any information, they can um, do it through um, speaking of GPM at gmail dot com, uh, directly to Erica, and that way. They can register for our seminar. Okay, and then for a number to call if they want to contact oh, yes, you. Yes, definitely. 313-886-1200. That's our office. 313-886-1200. Yes. yes. Well, I just don't want to miss anything because I know you guys have so much wealth to give. Mm-hmm. Is there anything that you'd like to say that you haven't said? Well, as I said, just, just I mean, again, never never not pay yourself first because, okay. I mean, at the end of it, you know, you're going you're gonna to want to have some money put away for your retirement. You know, what I learned to do, because I have, oh, gosh, I got eight grandchildren. Whoa. Yes. So what I've learned to do with them is that I take them for Christmas to feed the hungry, mm-hmm. to give things to the poor, gifts to the poor. Mm-hmm. And then I get their Christmas gifts in January. That's smart. That is a blessing. You know, not only... Is Plus it you catch teaching the sales. them, but also it's helping me in terms of not making, had to pay all that money. Exactly. You know, and you're born to serve. And one thing I have to say, I learned this from Kathleen Colin. Mm-hmm. One thing we need to do is save our receipts. Okay. When we buy at Christmas time, save your receipts. When it goes on sale, you take that, especially Macy's, all those stores, they will reimburse you Get the difference. Here. Within 10 yes, days. Yes, within yeah. 10 days. If it so if you buy something on Christmas Eve, the day before, or whatever, save all those receipts. They have sales on all the time. Save receipts. Another thing I wanted to say, mm-hmm. too, was everybody needs to not shop on Fifth Avenue, but to have five avenues of income. Because we get so stressed out over Christmas. But guess what? Christmas, the date has never changed. Okay. And I know we get stressed out over that day. But the thing is that we need to do is have five avenues of income. If you want to go to the movies, get somebody, go on Groupon, and buy them a discounted coupon. Groupon is a great way to shop. Also, Living Social. Are you saying G-R-O-U-P? Yes, Groupon. Another great thing, if you want to go to a movie, go for free. You can go to GoFobo, G-O-F-O-B-O.com. People can mm. actually go to the movies for right. free wow. on GoFobo. And if you want to take somebody out to eat, you could buy a $5 gift certificate, which covers $50 worth of food if you go to restaurants.com. Okay. So just go to restaurants.com, buy somebody. You know, they can go to the nicest restaurants. You can dot com your way all into all kinds yeah, of things. You can. Trust all, no. you, yeah, you can. Know, just, yeah. you know, just, you know, dot com is the bomb. I know. Dot com is the bomb. I love it. I love but it. But I, I think it. we need to start thinking about different things to do. And another thing I always say, too, you know, all year long, maybe just to save early and save right. in a change jar. And when you're out somewhere, mm-hmm. you see sales. Oh, yeah, just buy Definitely. then. Buy then. Right, oh, absolutely. Right. And one other thing I really love that you do, and I imagine you guys will continue to do since you're partnering now, mm-hmm. is how you start with the young people young yes. and knowing oh, yeah. how to budget. Oh, that absolutely. they need to do. Definitely. And, and, and also, that applies to Christmas time, too. Oh, oh Because, you're you know, right. some parents give them, what, $10 or so much amount mm-hmm. of money to go and do their own shopping. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. Definitely. Remember mm-hmm. they used to have the Christmas stores? Remember back in the day? Yeah. They had stores just for us to go shopping. Oh, I remember Hudson's. Yeah, Hudson's had a You are not that so old to remember that girl. I no, well. Okay, maybe I'm thinking. <laughs> but that was so much fun. I was a little yeah, kid that was shopping was. though. I was oh my god, I love that. That mm-hmm. was so cool. That was a fun. And thing I think to we do. need to do that with our children. Yes. Is teach them, you know, how to budget that money too. Start doing it now. So exactly. and I'm not trying to plug the dollar store, but it is so many things that's a dollar store that you can get and the kids can get that are wonderful gifts because it's really coming from the heart, not necessarily about how many dollars that you spend. Right. Absolutely. No, it's, it's, that's mm-hmm. what it's all about. It's all about the thought. All about that's the thought. It. Definitely. That's it. So we're, we're glad that you're back here and glad well, you're thank with, you. I'm, with, I'm you're glad with to be a back. great partner. That's for sure. Well, Gail and I, we, we've known each other for years. Mm-hmm. We were, we were, uh, at we're Prudential Security. Had you worked together before? Yeah, that's how we met. Oh, okay. we, that's how we, we met years yes. ago at Prudential All right, Security. So now mm-hmm. I just see some great things for you guys in terms Definitely. of workshops, in terms of books. Yeah. Yes. Because Gail Perry Mason has books out and she's done one 
with another partner before. Yes, Glenda Bridge, Bridgeforth. Bridge, what, Bridgeforth. My sister, I love her to death. She mm -hmm. brought me in, and that's been a blessing. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Well, I appreciate you ladies stopping by. We appreciate to you. To be a part of the you. Wellness for Women in Finance. That's awesome. And I know that we'll see you again because you got to come definitely, back. Definitely, we will. But definitely okay? you and Brenda, that's a great partnership too. Isn't that wonderful? You guys wonderful? here today, that's a blessing right there. Yes, it is. Very that's powerful. real yes, wisdom, is. powerful, and mm -hmm. definitely wealthy. Thank you. So thank you. We love you guys. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Thanks, Heather. You're watching UHF TV 33, Detroit Highland Park. Livingston Family Dentistry knows that good dental care ensures overall wellness, and healthy teeth and gums can perfect your smile. With over 30 years of experience, Dr. Ronald and Dr. Blake Livingston take the time to explain every treatment. Their modern office and friendly staff are committed to making you feel comfortable, informed, and satisfied. Located at 13724 Woodward in Highland Park, call now. 313-883-3050. If your teeth are not becoming to you, then you should be coming to us. King Pharmacy, 12871 East Jefferson, located inside the Park Medical Center. King Pharmacy has professional services, senior discounts, prescription counseling. King Pharmacy is here to serve all your prescription needs. For more information, call 313-331-8484. That's 313-331-8484. King Pharmacy, 12871 East Jefferson, located inside the Park Medical Center. Livernois Appliances and Mattresses, 14040 Livernois, two blocks north of Davison. Washer or dryer starts at $125. Refrigerator or stove starts at $150. Mattresses, wholesale prices, twin set for only $139. Full set for only $159. Queen set for only $179. Warranty available on all merchandise. Delivery starts at $25. For more information, call 313-883-4444. Livingston Family Dentistry knows the value of a healthy, beautiful smile. With over 30 years of experience, Dr. Ronald and Dr. Blake Livingston and their friendly staff are committed to making you feel comfortable, informed, and satisfied. So whether it's routine dentistry, cosmetic improvement, or complete restoration, bring your smile back to life at Livingston Family Dentistry, located at 13724 Woodward in Highland Park. Call now, 313-883-3050. If your teeth are not becoming to you, then you should be coming to us. The Extravaganza Vendor Expo, Saturday, November the 23rd at 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Just in time for the holidays. Vendors, you don't want to miss this opportunity to sell or market your business at the luxurious Doubletree by Hilton Hotel. Guest speakers on health and wealth, Dr. Keepa and Mr. Mickey. Vendors, for more information, call 1-800-815-0680. This event is sponsored by Financial Controllers. The following program does not reflect the views and opinions of Channel 33, its management, or sponsors. Bring your kids to Party for Less. It's only $3 all day where they can play Monday through Wednesday. $5 all day where they can play Thursday through Sunday. Our space can be rented for all occasions. Party for Let's, your indoor bounce house. For booking, call Angela at 313-656-9389. Thanks. Hey, hey, we are back, Brenda. Yes, 
that was Moving a great right along. That was really good. You great know, segment. But they have so much to give. It's yes. like you could go on and on and on. You need time. And I'll tell you, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to put this show up online, too, so mm-hmm. you'll be able to watch it over and over and over. Yes, yes. And um, as we, well as we'll be able to bring some of our guests back on our, our show, our on her show, and on my show. And Orthea, and your you have show a time. is. I'm on every Monday from uh, 1 to 2. And I'm and you're on, on Fridays from 9 to 10 in the morning. And then I have table talk at 1 p.m. on Fridays. Mm-hmm. So, yes, we definitely are going to have everybody back for a little longer segments and everything. Right. But it is our major pleasure. To introduce our next guest, yes, Dr. Margaret Betts. Good Used to be ha- my doctor back in the day. Back, back in the day, day yes. back in the show enough <laughs> day. Good morning. Good morning. How good are you? morning. Oh, wonderful. Great, great. Oh, well, it's Thank afternoon you for being now. Here. Well, good afternoon as yes. well. I let it wrong. Okay. Um, Thank you for being with us today. It is my pleasure. It's Preventive nice. medicine. We've heard that word everywhere. What does that really mean? Well, you don't we're all going to die. Oh, yeah. But we could die like Methuselah. Maybe not as old as he. <laughs> <laughs> but we can die. Uh, well, we now got people living causes. to 100. And well, my oldest patient was, if she'd lived two more months, she would have been 115. Woo. So we're going to die of natural causes. Okay. Not of complications of disease. Okay. And preventive care has to deal with knowing who you are, not only how you look outside, but your inside should look as good as your outside. Mm-hmm. And in order to do that, in order to know that, you gotta know some numbers. You gotta either, uh, well you gotta t- bring yourself to a physician or a healthcare professional of your choice. And there are lots of different types now. Okay. Um, naturopaths and Chinese herbalists, right. uh, internists, uh, right. private, uh, uh, primary care physicians, et cetera. Which is right. wonderful to hear because at one time, a medical doctor would not say to you, go to a Chinese herbalist or go to, you know, they wouldn't yes. say that. They would say, you right. know, look, well, right. I happen come to be on, a let Chinese me fill you up with some pills. Yeah, I happen to be a, a holistic practitioner okay. and a Chinese herbalist. Well, first and foremost, let's uh, talk about our families and let's talk about the importance of knowing our family's health history. Mm. Uh, well, that's really important and I'm glad mm-hmm. that you asked that question because most people, most of us don't know our family history. Because our parents really didn't talk to us about the important things. My mother used to always say she's going to see going to see a man about a dog. And I'm really? sure, <laughs> I love it. I'm sure the yeah, uh, listening had those audience. Expressions. Yeah, mm-hmm. and we would say, "Bring me a black one, or bring me a, a, right. a, a brown one." <laughs> but uh, the family history is important, not necessarily for heredity, but for tendencies uh, and increased incidence. We now know that only five percent of, of all of the diseases known to man mm-hmm. are hereditary and all the others are acquired or associated with increased tendencies okay. because you learn by behavior. If your mother cooked with a lot of grease and butter and, and sugar. You think that's and, what you're supposed to do. Right. Mm-hmm. If your mother had diabetes as a result of cooking like that, then if you grow up and cook like that, you will have the, have same, the same, thing. same things, yes. Mm-hmm. So family history is really important, and especially from, for some of those diseases that we know are hereditary. Well, a quick question. This popped in my mind when you just said that was Angelina Jolie. That's she had a double mastectomy because her mother had breast cancer, and her mother had it. Do you think there was a 100% chance that she would get it? Yes, because she did the test called a BRAC and showed she had the same genes as her mother. Mm. So she had a tendency, and that's an, an, an uh, inherited situation. Okay. Also uh, ovarian cancer. More than likely, most women who have ovarian, most mothers who have ovarian cancer will uh, pass it on to their female uh, children. Mm. So there are a few of them that we know you know, now, you know, hereditary. me being the, the minister that I am, I do a sermon and say, that ain't got nothing to do with me because my mama had it because you had it. Don't mean I got to have On it. Certain situa- in certain situations, it does have something to do with you. Okay. And it's important that we know. But I'm saying if you are aware, if you are aware, because that's what's the first question, if you are aware of what the background is and the family background is, then you know what to do. Absolutely. As Maya Angelou said, you can't do better till you know better. Till you know better. And, well, you talked about ovarian cancer and 
Breast cancer. Breast cancer, yes. Mm-hmm. There are quite a few others. My uh, son is a uh, chaplain. He's at Harvest Divinity School. And he sent me a, a email and says, I want to be as good of a chaplain to my cancer patients as this cat chaplain was to hers. And, and there was a YouTube, of, and I'm sure it has so many hits, this doctor in the operating room with all of the, the assistants and the physicians dancing before she has her double mastectomy. You should go. Mm. I don't know what the I name of it is. I just saw that. It was just on. I saw that. She's dancing. Had the, she was dancing with uh, and had someone. Well, I guess it was it was uh, arranged. Now, who was dancing? The patient. The patient, the patient was dancing. Was. Okay. I'll try and it's send the you that link. The patient was dancing, okay. and she asked all that all of her friends who saw it danced, Dance. and they and they scanned the the, the country. And a hospital was dancing in the halls. Her friends were dancing in, 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 in Atlanta. And that's what is, it's all about, taking control of what's Great synergy. Base, ver, great ah. synergy and great energy as well. Yes, yes, um, yes, yes. So we really have to not fear what's inevitable mm-hmm. or what's around the corner. We have, to, we have to, you know, take it head on. Because I always tell my patients, we can't promise that you won't get cancer, but we can promise that you don't have to die from it if you catch it early enough. Wow. Mm-hmm. So how do you catch it early enough? You bring your body to the doctor. Get testing. Yes, yes. And that is a challenge with a lot of women. Everybody's afraid. You know, Everybody's they're afraid. afraid to go. They don't, you know, they want to know, but they don't want to know. Yes, but you they know. need to know. So coming up on this new year, we need to be knowing a whole lot of things and getting ourselves checked out. I mean, that's a part of our cleansing, a part of our building our body. It's not just exercising. It's making sure that I go do all the tests that I need to take. Yes. And we have to know what's not good for us. Some of us, you know, sometimes if we eat certain things, we get sick. But we like those things. And some people just go on and eat them and say, anyway, I'll just deal with it. Yeah, and that's not a good thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, it really isn't. Uh, disease is chronic. Uh, you don't diagnose, you're not diagnosed with diabetes you don't ha- have diabetes the first day you're diagnosed with it. You've had diabetes probably for the last 10 or 15 years. Right. Mm. But it's just been mounting. And okay. when it gets to the point that it spills over into your life, then you have a diagnosis. If you eat something that makes you sick, what are the organs doing? In order to be healthy, the organs have to be in harmony. And if it's making you sick, those organs are, are, are blasting, saying, help me, help me. Right. So we got to really understand that. That's amazing she should say that. that because I get up every morning. 